Let's take a look at the options you have available when bringing your 2D DXF or DWG files into SOLIDWORKS. To get started, I'll click the Open icon. By default, SOLIDWORKS is looking for native SOLIDWORKS part, assembly, or drawing files. In the Files of Type drop-down, you'll see there are a bunch of other file types that SOLIDWORKS can open, including DXF and DWG. When I select one of them, SOLIDWORKS will filter out the other types of files and only show the DXF or DWG files in the folder. Now at this point, I can click Open, but I'll hit Cancel for a moment. Another way you can bring in a DXF or DWG file is to simply open a Windows Explorer browser window and drag and drop the DXF or DWG file into the SOLIDWORKS window. When I do, SOLIDWORKS will open the DXF DWG import wizard. Here, I have three options in how I want to proceed with the import. You can create a new SOLIDWORKS drawing. With this option, you can choose to either convert the 2D CAD entities into SOLIDWORKS entities, or if you'd like, you can embed and link the DXF or DWG as a sheet in a SOLIDWORKS drawing while maintaining its native format. Or you can import the DXF or DWG to a new part, either as a 2D sketch or as 3D curves. We'll go over all of these options. Let's begin by creating a new SOLIDWORKS drawing from this file using the Convert to SOLIDWORKS Entities option.